students who take Engineers Without Borders projects tend to have to deal with a lot more complexity than a typical technical project. And having to deal with that complexity, actually you find out that there are more questions you don't know about. So whereas a traditional project may be lab-based or highly theoretical, this actually allows students to interact with external stakeholders and, and really build this kind of empathy that they're going to need when they go into industry. It will probably be different to things you've done in the rest of your engineering studies and you'll need to look at the way you do your engineering in a different way so you can't necessarily think that they're going to be a nice simple straightforward answer there's going to have to be lots of other factors that you need to bring in so you need to come in with a much more kind of open mind you might find that that topic has a lot more to it than you thought it would um, i find students get into it they start going off on all sorts of tangents which is great they find out more about it and you never know what direction it might go there's going to be something new that you bring in that you may not have considered at all in the rest of your studies and you need to be prepared to do that and, and seek it out and look for it as well. Really think about why they want to be doing these particular projects. Is it to really learn about human-centered design and, and the rationale for, for engineering that's going to make a difference or is it just to, to get a good grade and move on and if it really is for that first reason I think these can be incredibly beneficial for students.